Many of you use Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides. Now you can use them from right within Skies. Here's how. First, if you want to import an existing Google document, just click Import File. Then you can go to Google Drive, and you can search for anything that you have. For example, Earth Day. I've got an escape room I want to put in. Skies will create a copy, and you can say, I just want the first five pages. You can say, I want the entire document. You can have each page be a separate card, but let's say we want a single interactive document to be within Skies. Single document, all pages, import document. It's going to take a while. It's going to make some a copy of the presentation so that we can put it within Skies, and it will always be that copy. Great. And now you see we have our Earth Day presentation. It's fully interactive. You can click on this arrow. You can take the multiple choice quiz. You can play the YouTube video. Just a fun day. You can make it full screen. So this is great for things like Bitmoji Virtual Classroom, where you can click on different links to get to different places. So now this is right within Skies. Another thing you can do is create collaborative documents on the fly. Let's say you're teaching science and you want to put up a spreadsheet that everyone can add to. Just click plus and click Google Doc to add a Google Doc card. And to make a new spreadsheet, a new blank spreadsheet, we're just going to click sheet. But of course, first we're going to click students can edit. Now this immediately creates a Google document that all of your students will have access to so they can start adding their data together. Like, you know, group name, height of plant, Etc. And then you can start to compile data together. Once they're finished adding things, you can close it off to further additions by clicking on your pencil and changing it from students can edit to no. So you don't have to go into Google and click share and do all these things. You just can do it straight from within Skies. Well, so that's that works great if you want everyone to work on one big collaborative document together. But what if you want each student to have their own copy of a Google template? and make their own modifications and then grade them one by one. Well, now you can do that as well. Let's say I want to do you know, a subtraction activity. And I've got this great resource called Happy Insect Subtraction. You see, every page is a different kind of activity that students can do. And let's say I only want page you know, three. Easy enough. I can go ahead and pull down the teacher control panel. And now, instead of using a sentence starter, I want to actually use an entire Google thing as a template. I'm going to click slide, or actually I'm going to pick drive since I already have a file. I'm going to search for subtraction because that's you know, my resource. And I'm going to this time say, I just want page three. Click import document. And it's going to take a minute to you know, read through the file, go through it, take it only the page we need, and save it. But now, you see we have just a single Google slide for the kids. And if your students want to access it, when they log in, they're just going to see a button like this. They can click on this button. And it's going to make a copy of it for them. Once it finishes, you know, they can go ahead and do the problem. Ooh, they're going to cover the ladybug with leaves. So nine minus three, you know, like one, two, three. And then this is going to be six. This is a great way to build early numeracy. Now they don't have to click share or present. You immediately have access to what they've done. You go back as a teacher, you know, you go ahead and do this. And you can see their answers already up here. You can go ahead and give it a grade. You can go in the mass grader and look for their answer. You know, it's all already loaded and you can go ahead and say, okay, great work. You know, that's a four. Okay. One last thing is let's say you have students submitting you know, a bunch of Google documents. And it's actually a bit of stuff like, 
you know, they've written something about desert biomes and they've written abiotic and biotic factors and different species and things like that. Normally, in order to grade all of these Google Docs, you would have to click through each one of them, one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. And for 20, 30 kids, this can uh, turn into quite a bit of a chore. Well, now, for the special case of Google Docs, if you go to Mass Grader, we have an Extract Google button. And what this does is Skies does the work for you. It's going to go through each document one at a time, take out the text, and put it back into the Skies card. So you can just browse, 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 browse it, and uh, grade, 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 grade quickly. So you see? We have the desert things, we have the species, and we have the examples. And you can say, okay, this looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a four. That's it, hope this is helpful.